some of them read them, some don't. Some, for some, it's just dad's work. Um, with the first Newbery Honor, I was in Boston, and um, I'm just, on Sunday on Sunday afternoon, they had called about the Prince Honor for Lizzie, which was great. I was on a bus. The first time I had a cell phone, I only heard every third word. And then the next day, um, I was in the hotel because ALA was in Boston. And so they told me, why don't you come and you can hear it announced. Because you never, the authors never hear it announced, obviously, but I was in Boston, and so I could go. And I was waiting in the hotel to be picked up on whatever, the Monday morning. Um, and I was all nervous because the it was one of those hotels where you go in for breakfast and there's no prices on the menu. And I didn't have much money. And I was thinking, whoa, I'm hoping I can get out of here without washing dishes all day. And the phone call came for the Newberry Honor as I'm sitting there with my bowl of oatmeal. And so over the course of the day, um, and of course my, my wife and I are talking, and each of the kids calls, except for one kid, my son David. And I finally got through to David towards the end of the day. Um, and I called him, the big jerk. I called him, and he goes, you know, Dad, I don't know what all the fuss is. It's not like you won or anything. And I thought, okay, there's reality therapy. It's not like you won or anything. I don't know what all the fuss is about. And I was, okay, I get it now. So, yeah, it's, it's really true. It's, your kids aren't going to give you that kind of stuff. And, I mean, it just becomes part of the story, right? Um, with the second one, with, um, with Wednesday Wars, Anne was with me, and we were in Concord with students, actually. And we were in this bed and breakfast. It was wicked cold. It was so cold in this room, completely dark. And they call early in the morning. So um, Anne was sure that something may happen, and I said, no, they're not, this, they're not they're going to do this. We already got one. Fine. Let's just move on and not, don't worry about it. But she was absolutely sure that it was possible, and I was absolutely sure that it wasn't going to happen. And so I... Um, I got up early because the students were going to get up soon, and I wanted to get some work done before for the day. And I went into the shower, and it was so I can't even tell you how cold it was. And so I got this hot water going. It was so nice to get warm. And just as I had been in there, I don't think it was ten seconds, and walks in with a cell phone. So I come out into the room. I am I am completely I'm naked. I'm wet. I'm I'm freezing cold. And they go around the whole committee to tell you what they like about the book. I was so cold. And I was giving these quick answers, just hoping that they would go through me really fast and so we could hang up and just so I could get it warm again. Oh, it's so cold. Yeah, there's a lot of funny stuff that goes on with it. It's just a blast.